Hi folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Nikon Remote Control for Nikon DSLR cams. So, we have Nikon Remote Control. The model is uh, ML L3 model. So, it's uh, made in China. Mm -hmm. uh, it works pretty good. I assume it is original from Nikon. I ordered from Amazon. And the model of uh, DSLR cam we have is D5200. Okay, this is our DSLR cam. Let's get started testing with taking the photos with the remote control. First, switch on the camera. We have two ways of setting the remote control. The first one is you can click on the menu and then shooting mode and then press on release mode. So there we can see a lot of options like a self timer and a delayed remote and a quick response. So we have two options like ML L3, ML L3 delayed mode, so which is which delays two seconds once you press the remote control button. So it takes two seconds to click the photo. So this is the quick response mode. So as soon as you click on the remote control, so it try to capture immediately. So let's uh, select with the release mode two seconds and then go to main menu so you can see here remote symbol and two seconds okay so we have set two seconds remote mode let's uh, click the remote button and then try to capture so two beeps for two seconds successfully we able to capture the photo let's try with the front end Wow, excellent, we could be able to capture it. Mm -hmm. So let's try with setting the another mode. So you, you don't have to go to all these menu options and things. So there is a one option where you can easily set the remote mode. So if you notice this button, this is a mode different. You can, by using this button, you can able to set the different modes very quickly. Once you press it, Mm -hmm. you will get these options and then choose either remote delay mode or remote quick response mode let's uh, uh, choose quick response mode this time just uh, press on it so you could be able to see the only remote symbol not to yes because we have chosen quick mode and then try to test it now i am pressing that capture let's try it from front side perfect so this is how we can use remote control for dslr cams instead of self timers self timers allow you capture a couple of photos only whereas remote control you can capture you can set the your movement or forces of the people and then click so it captures.